Right, so this video is going to look at the chi-square test of association. It's an SPSS tutorial that will show you how to interpret the output at the end as well as writing up the results in APA style. So, what is the chi-square test? The chi-square test of association is the test you'd use if you wanted to find out if a significant association exists between two categorical variables. So this is generally nominal data. Both variables must be categorical and could include things like students or non-students, employed or unemployed, iPhone users or Android users. Basically, the participants are grouped as either one or the other. The relationship between the two variables is then assessed by comparing the observed frequencies from the data you've collected, so your sample, with those that you would expect to occur by chance, which is the expected frequencies. So if we had a significant departure from the expected, we would accept that there is a difference between these two categories. So the observed value is what you have measured and the expected is what we would expect to occur by chance and we're comparing these two in the chi-squared test. So I have a data set here. You'll see that I have two variables. One is the football team somebody supports and the other is the subject they're studying at a university. So what I'm interested in here is whether there is an association between the football team and the subject studied. So how the data is laid out on SPSS is really important. You'll see here that I've got the raw data. We've got 22 participants and group number one refers to a Lincoln fan and group number two refers to a Grimsby Town football fan. Then when it comes to the subject, subject one is anybody who studies psychology, subject two is anybody who studies maths. So when running the chi-squared test in SPSS, we need to change how this data is laid out. So I've got that here to show you. So you'll see this is different. So it's the same data, the same information, just laid out very differently. So here we have three columns. The first one is the frequencies, which I'll come back to in a minute. The second column is our football team. So one still refers to Lincoln and two still refers to Grimsby Town. And then we've got our subjects. So one is still psychology students, two is still math students. This frequency column here, this is the total number of our 22 participants that, in this case, support Lincoln and study psychology. So we've got four of those. We have five people who support Lincoln and study maths. We have five people who support Grimsby and study psychology and eight people who support Lincoln and study maths. So because we've got multiple group and variables, we've got these two here, we need to tell SPSS which column contains the frequency data. So we need to basically tell SPSS that this is our frequency here. This is done by weighing cases. So if you click on data and then weigh cases at the bottom, click on weigh cases by and then it asks here for the frequency variable. So I've just labeled that freak. So we'll put that in frequency and then click OK. So now when the analysis is done, SPSS will know that these are our frequencies. Not these, not these, but this column here contains the frequencies. So to run the chi-squared test, you just click on Analyze, Descriptives, and then Cross Tabs, which is this middle one. Then I'll just reset that. So you would click first of all on Statistics and check chi-square. There you'll see that, chi-square, so that's checked. Click Continue. And then what we need to do is transfer each of our grouping variables into these rows and columns. So one would go in the rows, so I'll put Football Team in rows and Subject in columns. So as I said earlier, the chi-square compares the observed frequencies from this sample with those you expect to occur by chance. So it would be quite useful to display those in the output. So to do that, you just click on cells and then observed is always checked and then just click on expected as well. And now we'll get both of those in our output table. Click continue and then click OK. You'll see here, this is our output. There are three tables. The first one basically just tells us how many participants we had. So we had 22 participants. The next table is the cross tabulation table. This you'll see we've got football team as the row title and subject as the column title. And then you've got Lincoln and Grimsby, psychology and maths. And you'll see this 
is exactly the same data that we put into SPSS. So our count, we had four students who supported Lincoln and studied psychology. We had eight students who supported Grimsby and studied maths. So that's the same as the data. This expected count, this is the expected that I talked about earlier. So this is what we would expect to occur by chance. We would expect to have 3.7 of our 22 people who were Lincoln fans and studied psychology. We would expect 7.7 .7 of our participants to be Grimsby fans and study maths. This is based on chance. The next table that's interesting is the chi-squared test. That's this bottom one here. This I will show you. You can see here the chi-squared test table gives us the value of the chi-square the degrees of freedom, the p-value and the n, which is the number of participants. So if I go back to our table, you'll see our chi-square value is 0.079. Our p-value is here, 0 0.779. Degrees of freedom is here as 1, and we had 22 for our number of participants. So looking at this, we can say, with our sample of people, there was no association between the football team they supported and the subject they studied at university. And this chi-square value and the p-value here tells us that this p-value is greater than 0 0.05, so it's not, there's no significant association between these two variables. So to write this up, I would always use this kind of a guide. Always talk about the test used and the variables that you've looked at. Um, always check with the APA guide before doing this, but this is quite a simple way to do it. So the results of the chi-squared test of association, in this case it was 2 by 2, show that there is a significant association or no significant association between variable 1 and variable 2, and then you report all your test statistics. So if we were going to write up ours, we'd say the results of the chi-squared test of association 2 by 2 shows there is no significant association between football team and subject studied, and then we'd report the degrees of freedom were 1, the n was 22, the chi-squared value was here 0 0.079, and our p-value was 0 0.779.